to this new video. Back to school season has started and of course I am back with my school videos. So in today's video I am going to show you all my back to school supplies and I'm going to give you guys 5 tips on how to prepare for the school year and how to start the year strong. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first of all I am going to show you guys my school supplies that I got for upcoming year. I am going to be a junior next year. I'm also going to give you guys my very first tip, which is reusing your school supplies from last year. So you might recognize these notebooks from my back to school videos from last year. And this year I am going to reuse some of my notebooks. So let's take for example my music notebook. I literally have only written three pages in it and all of it is empty. So why not reuse it for my junior year? Um, also because the information that is currently in this notebook is super important. It's like really important information for me for my exams and for all of my upcoming tests. So that's definitely what I'm going to do. But of course, I also got some new notebooks. To start off with my notebooks for English and Dutch, I got these super super cute like A4 size notebooks from Hema, which is a Dutch store. It just got lines and I absolutely love it. It is so adorable, so cute. And um, yeah, I just really like these notebooks to use for my subjects, which are languages. Then I also got two notebooks for my maths. Obviously I need some like grid lines for these notebooks. And um, yeah, these two are super cute. So definitely going to use these too. Something else I got is this cute wrapping paper. I got like one plain brown color and one with flowers. These are for uh, my school books to protect them. And I absolutely love these. It's so cute, so simple, but yeah. Then I also got these labels to put on my books and my notebooks to make it clear what subject obviously I'm using the notebook for or the book. So um, these are really useful. Pretty simple but really useful. And last but not least I got these plastic binders. Um, they are super cute. I use them so often for example to store my notes, my written notes in these or just any important papers for school. The pattern is so cute and it really matches my other school supplies too, so I'm very happy with those. Okay, so now that I've shown you guys all of my school supplies, let's get on with the tips on how you can prepare for the upcoming school year. So my second tip is having a fixed sleeping schedule and enough sleep. I daily use the app Sleep Cycle to track my sleep and to set a good alarm for the next day. And this app has a really nice alarm sounds and overall works really great. Besides setting one alarm, you can also set more alarms on different times so that you know for sure you will wake up the next morning. I always try to get at least 8 hours of sleep because a student should get around 7 to 10 hours of sleep each night. And going to bed early is also really important if you're feeling tired or want to change your sleep cycle. Tidying up your room and throwing away unnecessary things can make you feel so much more organized and prepared for the new school year. I always like to make my bed for example each morning and open up my windows. I also tidy up my desk and make sure that it is a good workspace without any distractions. Before the new school year starts, I also tidy up my drawers and I throw away things or school supplies I don't want to use in the future or when they are containing unimportant information. I also make sure my closet is organized and that, that it doesn't have any clothes that I don't wear or like anymore. My fourth tip is to declutter your laptop and organize your playlists and documents. For example, I use Notion which is an app for your mobile but also for your laptop and it's a really great app to organize your life, it is super useful for planning, making lists and tracking things and I also make sure that all of my documents on my laptop are organized and that I've deleted all documents I don't use anymore. Also listening to good music while studying can really improve your study session and of course it will make it a lot more enjoyable. I've made several playlists on Spotify to listen to when I'm in a certain mood or if I just want to chill or study and Spotify itself also has great playlists you can save to your favorites or use for studying. Every year I make a list of goals for the upcoming school year. 
But of course, revision is also very important because it will help you see what went well last school year and what you can improve on for upcoming year. As you can see, I made two sections in my notebook and one is for writing down what went well and the other is for writing down what did not went so well last school year. After this, I will think of my goals and write them down too. I don't only write down what I want to achieve, but also how I am going to achieve those goals. So for example, I want to have less stress for my tests and exams. So what I can do is make a good planning and start early with studying. It is very useful to have your list somewhere online so that you can always have access to it. For example, I have written down my list in Notion so that I just can look at it whenever I want. Finally, daily journaling can improve your day and mental health as well. Every time I journal, I write down some questions, goals, what I'm proud of and what I'm thankful for that day. I don't journal every day, mostly when I just feel like it, but it really helps me to be more present in the moment and to work for the things I want to achieve. So those were my tips on how to prepare for upcoming school year. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a comment and like or subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!